Okay. So I've got an abundance of slides uh, that my father took uh, when I was younger and before I was born. So these are over 50 years old, these. Uh, these alone are over 50 years old. But they never get viewed because we've got the viewers, uh, the, the small things, but you don't, they're cumbersome, you don't get them out much. They've got to be plugged in so they're not portable. So these slides never get viewed. And all the others that I've got, because this is just a small representation of them, they never ever get viewed. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to use this device uh, from DigiNow to scan the slides onto a memory stick via uh, an SD card that's in the back of this. Obviously you can use a micro SD card as well with the adapter. That basically just goes there. Um, so I'm going to scan these onto a memory stick and then uh, I, can I can distribute them out to the rest of the family so that they can catch up on them as well. Now it's not just slides that this will do by using that adapter. You can use this adapter if you want to do negatives you can use this adapter if you want to do 110 mil film and you can use this adapter if you want to do super 8 film and this is foam there well it's not foam sorry it's material there with foam underneath that's to clean the underneath if it's getting uh, dirty and this um, is obviously you get you get a power lead with it which is a, a USB to um, just show you the old type of USB there we go so that just goes into the back. Now, what I'm doing is, I'm not actually going to use this, I've just plugged it in to the back of a Samsung TV, which provides enough power uh, to use this. And also, that way, I can show you what the TV out is like on there. But if we just if we just go through some of this first, I'm just gonna just put those slightly to one side, because all we're interested in is the slide adapter. I'm going to get a slide out, and the instructions say that basically you've got to do uh, the shiny side up of the slide. So I'll pop that in to start off with, but it just pushes into the, push it all the way in until it clicks. Right, now that's pushed in, but it's not going to come up. Let's just turn it on so that you can see that the TV powers it. So there we go. It's going to boot up. It's already got the mem memory card in the back. And I'm going to get the next slide out and just push that in there slightly. Just to get it moving. There we go. Right now, you've got a menu. Should be able to see that. You've got a menu here, and you can move through the menu using these arrow keys. But it always starts off on the capture. So that's if we were going straight in to capture uh, the slides onto memory. But if we move through, you've got the playback. So that's actually playing back from the SD card that's in there. You've got the film, and I'll show you more about that in a second. You've got the resolution, so you can change the resolution. If we just go into that, actually, press OK. So you can have it as 14 megapixel or 22 megapixel. I'm going to keep it at 22 megapixel because I want it to the highest resolution possible. Uh, let's just go back out of that. Um, so we had the playback, the film, the resolution, obviously the language for when you're setting it up. I'm not sure what the USB MSDC is because uh, I haven't used it. Um, I might just pop it on the end of the video when I look at that. Right, if we go into, because I'm doing slides, this always defaults to a negative. So you go to film, press OK, and then there you've got negative film. If you take it across, you've got slides. If you take it across, you've got black and white. So let's just bring it back to slides, press OK, and then you've got, uh, is it Super 8, is it 110? Is it um, 1 to 8 KPK or is it 135? Well, these are 135 slides, these, so we're already on that, so just press OK. Right, now we're in capture. So basically, if I push this in, you should see, I could obviously push it in faster. That is my first ever pet, and it's called Shep. So we'll just push that in, there we go. Right, now, all you do is you just press scan. Uh, no, sorry, can't remember what you press actually. I think it's scan. Yeah, it's saying so. There it says save, which is highlighted. So press OK, and it goes through, and that's it, done and dusted. So at the top of the screen there, it said eleven. Now it's gone to twelve. So it's saying twelve of six hundred and nine. So in other words, there's twelve slides been done of six hundred and nine in total. Let's just do the next one, if I get the next one out.
do the same again, just push it in, start it going, and that's there. Now press scan, the save's highlighted, press OK. There's a timer comes on in the middle, and when that timer is done, it's gone from 12 to 13, and we'll just do one more. So it's always the not the one that you're holding but the next one that's going to be done there you go and it just exits them from this side so that's the next one there and if we just press scan save it's highlighted press ok timer in the middle and it'll go from 13 to 14 when it's finished right there you go that's done now what i'm going to show you is i'll just adjust the camera so that you can see the tv Right, okay, so you can see the TV in the background now. Mm. And the TV's pairing this. But now, so on the back, you've got your SD card there. That's obviously your, your power. And I'm going to put that into the TV out. And it comes up on the screen there, as you can see. Now, it's highly pixelated, but obviously that's not how, you, how, it's, uh, how it's eventually scanned. But... I'll use that to show you how we can do the next one. So I'll pop that in, start it moving, push it across. So there's the next one. And press scan. So again, this is what you see on here. So saves highlighted, you've obviously got delete. That's your memory card said that it's in. So we're on save. Let's just press OK. There's the timer in the middle. It said 14 and it's just gone to 15. And we'll just do one last one. Do this one. Okay. So scan, OK, timer, says 15 there, and there we go, it's gone to 16. And, and it's basically as simple as that, you just go through it. If we went into the scan menu, so we just go back to this and go to playback and press OK. So this is the first one that I tried doing a while since and um, well, I was just flipping through everything now. So that was the first one that I did but that's not a negative anymore. Whereas the first one obviously was a negative. So that's it. In summary, I'm going to be able to get all of the slides are uh, scanned and they are going to be absolutely fantastic really good memory pieces um, I'm going to show you them on the uh, I'm going to show you them on the on the computer just so that you can see the quality of them uh, but yeah fantastic and I'm just going to turn it off there and that's it done and dusted and on top you can see the on off button on top left your OK button or your, your selection one your uh, direction ones and your uh, and your menu button if we go to the back you see your sd card slide at the top your power in and your tv out and most importantly your cartridge if we take that out so there's other cartridges to go in but this is so simple to use uh, the, the device itself is so simple to use okay so the memory sticks in and um, so let's just pull the thing up. So, uh, not the memory stick, the SD card's in. Uh, it's a DCIM file, and uh, those are all the slides that I've done so far. That one is, uh, is when it's set up for negatives. And then, if I come back out of there, I can show you when I've actually done it properly. Done that one properly. That's a shot from uh, from in Greece, on top of the hill is at the Acropolis, and that is just under 50 years ago. That one, 
literally just under maybe about 49 years ago in Greece which is where I should be this weekend actually but everything has been cancelled because of the uh, coronavirus uh, so let's go back out of there and these are the last ones that you saw me doing I think that's me as a child that's certainly me as a child that's me there with my next door neighbour and his dad that'll be my dad that's taking the picture uh, that is me and that's uh, that's Shep so lots more to go through now what you can do is so on this you can see that there's quite a bit of red on there you can actually when you're taking the slide you can change the uh, uh, the various colour options on it uh, but obviously you can do that once you've got it on a memory stick you can do it in Photoshop or any any uh, photographic software so really really good certainly recommendation this is going to mean that the whole of my family and extended family can uh, can see what was going on uh, quite a few years ago so yeah fantastic big recommendation nice piece of kit very easy to use um, the SD card that I had in that would do 609 pictures that was only a 2 gig SD card but it will take up to 32 gig so right fantastic